call me. Do you like jelly beans? Hello guys, my name is Mars Freemans and welcome in another episode of my documentary. I hope you're having an amazing day. There's something that I haven't done in a while and it's tracking in Adobe After Effects. Tracking is just that one interesting feature what can improve your video quality immediately because you can just track the text or you can play with the text in 3D space. As there are multiple ways how can you use tracking, we're gonna break this video in three parts. As someone requested on the reddit, we're gonna start with the face tracking. Face tracking is just funny thing, but it's worth a note if you make some kind of gaming video or some funny videos, it's just just good tool in a box. I hope you guys are excited, I'm ready to refresh my memory and let's jump into it. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. As we can see there are two files. The first one is my Batman video and the picture of the mask that I'm gonna use later for facial tracking. First thing what we need to do is to drop down the video file in this icon to make a new sequence. Also let's drop down the picture but let's turn it off and focus only on the video. So now let's move the cursor in a place where we can see our face really clearly. After that let's move to the rectangle tool and press Q two times to get the circle. Now let's use the circle to mask out my face. Then let's move down and change mask mode to none so we can see all video. Now what we're gonna do is to use this mask to track our face. Make sure that you're in a default tab so you can see the tracking option. If you don't see the tracking option, move up to the windows and make sure that this tracking option is ticked. Let's open up tracking and change the method to the face tracking detailed features. Next we need to move the cursor back so it starts tracking from the very first frame. And now we can press analyze button. What it's gonna do is Adobe After Effects is going to track my face and going to make a keyframe, frame by frame. And these keyframes we're going to use later on to glue the mask on our face. So after tracking is finished, we can move down to the video and check what Adobe After Effects did. It made the keyframes for our facial parts like left eye, right eye, nose, mouth, cheeks and chin. Now let's move the cursor somewhere where you can see our face again nice and clear. I think this looks perfect. Now it's time to turn back the mask and scale it to match our face. Something like this. I think it looks perfect. Next step is to make a right click on the mask picture and choose pre-compose. Let's change name to the B mask. Make sure the option move all attributes into the new composition is selected, otherwise it's not gonna work correctly. Next thing what we're gonna do is to open our video. Let's select face tracking points. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pinpoint every single tracking point so we can sync the tracking point movement with the pinpoint movement. So let's move up and select puppet position pin tool. So I made little picture what we're gonna follow cause in this step the order how you are selecting the pinpoints is really really important because later on when we're gonna sync the points it's gonna help us not to get lost which point is which you can see what I'm talking about let's start with the number one then let's move to the number two and number three what is gonna be the outside left a bro then we're gonna go do the same for the right side uh, here with the nose I'm making a bit exception because as we can see the nose is not nose mask part is not matching perfectly with my nose so I'm gonna use actual points on the mask and <clears throat> and when we're gonna sync the points and Adobe gonna do the magic it's gonna move these three points down to my nose level so it match
So once we are done with that, let's move to the video and press Ctrl C on the puppet and then move to the picture and press Ctrl V. After that, we can delete the puppet points in the video file. So let's open up the picture. Mesh, deform, and now we can see all 18 pipet points. So let's open up the video file too, and let's open facial tracking, and we can see all our face tracking points. <clears throat> and now in this point you're gonna see why order matters, because we're gonna go, we're gonna match one by one. Let's open the first one, what, what is inside left, Abro, and let's match it. Bam. Let's move to the number two. And let's move to the number three now. As you can see, I have crossed out the eye points because we're not going to use it and I have never used them. Probably there would be some kind of situations where you would use these uh, eye points, but I have never faced that kind of... So usually I just cross them out and I suggest you to do the same. As we are done with this eye, let's move to the next Abro. So number four is right eyes inside Abro. Number five is the middle. And number six is right eyes out Abro. Now we can move to the nose. Let's start with left side. Then nose tip. And nine is the right side of the nose. Now let's use the same logic to match the rest of the points. And now it's time to take a look how it looks. I think it looks pretty good. As we can see at the end, in the beginning, uh, the mask is a bit glitching because once my video getting darker, uh, it lost the track of my face and then it used this last more that it had. So I can use uh, some color corrections to fix, fix that uh, glitch in my video. But if you have video where lighting is not changing, it's not getting dark and Adobe After Effects can track your face all the time then you are basically all set and I want to see that video. So what I'm gonna use is hue and color correction to just darken my mask in the places where it's needed. And I'm just gonna animate it with uh, using keyframes. Let's make the mask darker to match my overall look. And then just darker the mask in the places where the light gets darker. Okay, that, that looks really good and I'm pretty happy with the end result. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. Tell me, do you like jelly beans? I will. If you enjoyed this video and improved your video quality, then just DM me or use my hashtag, because I want to see your work. Share it with me and maybe I can include it in one of my videos. Anyways guys, thank you for joining me today, hit that zing zing bell so you get notifications, subscribe button if you're not subscribing me already, and guys, remember, be impossible, see you next time, bye.